What's going on YouTube? It's C Doc back on the spot, getting hot on the block. It don't even act like you don't see what's on the screen. Yeah, that's right. We got a hundred thousand VC ready to open up packs. And you know, as always, all go everything. We always start off with the gold booster. Gold booster brings you the most luck, and that's what we're gonna always go with. And you see that, man. I guess I shouldn't have said stuff too early. Because I don't get anything in that first pack. Man, that's off to a bad start. I don't know what we're going to do. But your boy, you know, I always clutch everything. You know, that's my name, Mr. Clutch. Everybody call me that. Anyway, you see I got two arenas. I already got them. Pepsi Center. Man, think about it. Pepsi Center. Uh, I don't understand why that's not a, a goal. Because, you know, it's in mile high. And it's so tough to play there. I mean, it it seems like it should be a goal. I don't get it. Either way, you see, I got floor general, man. Floor general don't really mean nothing because once you got two or three of those, it don't it just don't mean nothing because you can't have two uh, floor generals on the field or on the court at the same time. I fall the same football, man. The same Madden. The same NCAA. The same backbreaker. You see, I got two coaches there. Indiana Pacers back when Reggie Miller, Reggie Miller was playing. Thing about, see, man, 2K need to get their stuff right. How you gonna not have Reggie Miller in my team? That, that's ridiculous. And you see that I got Matt Bullard. Matt, Matt Bullard. Matt Bullard. Who is Matt Bullard? Bullard. A minus outside, you a big man. And I just want to inform y'all that you are you are officially watching my road to Fat Melo. Yeah, I said that right. Fat Melo. Man, Fat Melo is easily the best big man in the NBA. He will cook anybody and everybody on anybody's team. It, any commentator can see me with Fat Melo. They just going down. You see a guy, Johnny Newman. Johnny Newman ain't going to do nothing for me. What is he going to do? He's just going to drive and get his stuff blocked. I'm selling him. He ain't going to do nothing. All right, I got that gold booster. All go, everything. You see, got posterizer. See, who can I put posterizer on, on my collection? I already got it on James Worthy and LeBron James. I'm not sure. I have to, I have to look into that. I, I'm sure I can definitely put posterizer to use on somebody. Anyway, you see, I put up another gold pack in Bill Lambert. You see, I got Bill Lambert, the three-point cheeser. Ain't can't no big man shoot three-pointers better than Bill Lambert. Bill Lambert. And you see that staple Center, man? I don't even like the staple Center. It's all about the other staple Center. The, you, you see, you got two staple Center. I don't like the Clipper staple Center. I like the LA staple Center because the Clipper staple Center, it, it just, the colors are so dull. And you see, I got Scrapper. It's kind of funny, though, because... When my team first came out, uh, Scrapper wasn't that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? No, when when my team first came out, Scrapper was definitely, there was a lot of Scrappers out there. But now, Scrapper's not really out there. And I, I really like Scrapper just because, you know, it helps you get rebounds and stuff. And that's always good, you know, second chance uh, points. Uh, you see uh, the Palace, I really like the name, but Detroit Pistons Stadium, got to go. Just can't stay. And finisher, I got a lot of finishers on my team, but it it seemed like I was trying right there, right there. I got a lot of finishers on my team. Yeah, we switching the whole team. My team get the gleam. You lose seams. You got loose seams. You wasn't with the team. Lamborghini, Larry Bird. He's a fiend, but he can't make a shot for me. And that's another thing, man. All right, look, those three players that you get, right? Uh, I think it's Larry Bird you get for going into the fourth seed, if I'm not mistaken. And then you get Magic Johnson for going into the third. And then you get Michael Jordan for going. And, no, 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 it's the opposite. My fault. You get Larry Bird for going into the third. And then Magic Johnson for going into the second. And then Michael going into the first. Yeah, that's right. All right. Now, thing about Larry Bird, right? Larry Bird is a 97. He's got good passing. He's like a point forward that can shoot. That's that's what his stats uh, say. <clears throat> but for some reason, 
I can't make a shot with Larry Bird. I don't know why. I just, I just can't. And it's not like I'm jacking. Like I'm not jacking. They're not bad shots. I mean, some of them are momentum shots, like fading. But you know, they're open. It, they might be in transition just because I'm. I don't want to do a fading three, but my mo my uh, momentum just uh, carries me into the shot. But um, yeah, I'll spot up uh, wide open on the wing and he'll miss it. That, that just doesn't make sense, you know, one of the best three-point shooters of all time, and he's missing shots, so Larry Bird, he just collects collects dust on my uh, collection, but anyways, see, I got another scrapper, I think it's gonna make me sell it right here, it sure is, anyways, thing I don't like about uh, packs is that in my team, you get a lot of, the packs, they make you uh, sell some that you don't have which is kind of weird i don't get it you see i got another coach spot up shooter i don't have a lot i don't use spot up shooter mainly because i don't like to get spot up shooters i like to have people that cre can create their own shot and dimer is always good to have even though i gotta sell it you know dimer helps you spread the ball around the court and that's another thing about the uh like when you go on online games people use the heat you see i got antoine Carr. not good he's getting sold he ain't about to be on my team. He ain't making no cuts. He he getting cut. He not even going to get a tryout. Anyway, like I said about the Heat and quick games, it seems like people always want to abuse LeBron going to paint, abuse D-Wade, or, or at least that's what people say that they go up against. But it seems like people overlook LeBron's ability to be, to be a point forward in 2K. I mean... Like, LeBron has Dimer, and there's probably about maybe four to five knockdown shooters on the Heat. Let's see. Let me point them out. Mario Chalmers can knock it down. Shane Battier can knock it down when he's not tired. Ray Allen, Mike Miller, and I know there's somebody else. I'm, I know. Ah. Dang, I can't think of the other person. I know there's somebody else that I'm missing. But either way. And yeah, they just completely overlooked that. Like when I played with the Heat, LeBron would have like maybe 15 assists, uh, eight rebounds, and maybe around 11 to 14 points, something like that. I usually try to get LeBron a triple double when I play with the Heat. I I like to always say that my stars will have a triple double after a game. And something that I want to add to this commentary is that I'm actually forcing myself to do this commentary with my hands in my pockets. Yes, I know, I just said that, it sounds really weird, but when I talk and I get into my uh, conversations and I just get rolling, my hands start to move and I start to bang it on a desk or something just to, you know, express what I'm saying with my hands. And then all you all you hear is da 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 and I start banging on the desk. And I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that. So I am doing this commentary with my hands in my pockets. Yes. And you see here, I got closer. Not much I can do with closer because, you know, it. you can put closer on everybody in your lineup, but, you know, you only need one one or two people to maybe have closer to close out the game. Right now, I have it on Gil uh, Goodrich, Nick Anderson, LeBron James, and maybe somebody else. Gil Goodrich, or Goodrich, I always get his name. I don't even know what his name is. Um, we're just going to call him Three Man or Rain Man. Because that dude is a beast from three-point. I mean, he does not miss. And you see here, I got Dave Boucher, Bobby Boucher. I'm going to call him Bobby Boucher. Anyways, you know, I'm still looking for that Fab Mello, that dime a dozen. Maybe a little bit of Tony Bennett. Uh, tr I really would like Patty Mills. But either way, see, I got a U.S. Airways Center, man. Why... Did, did anything happen at the Phoenix Suns Arena, like anything historical? Because I don't really understand why the U.S. Airways Center is gold, you know. They didn't win a championship. Well, did they? Nah, nah. Phoenix Suns didn't win a champion. Did they? Nah, nah. Phoenix Suns didn't win a championship. Why is it gold, you know? Did something happen? Like, did a, a U.S. event happen there or something? Something historical? I don't know. And I don't really care because I don't like the Phoenix Suns. I don't think they're good. But I'm sorry for all y'all Phoenix Suns out there. They was they were good when Steve Nash and Amari was there, but now y'all in trouble, man. That that's all I got. So you see, I got the rail right. I'm probably gonna sell him. 
he's not a bad player. He can he can shoot the three. He can drive a little bit, but just not. He's not gonna fit my team. You see here, I keep getting finishers all pack opening, posterizer stuff like that. I don't really need it. I got duplicates like crazy of those. And the Spurs playbook, I really like to sell all my playbooks besides the Miami Heat, just because you know I like the Heat. The playbook is basically only only thing it affects is your coach profiles, and the Miami Heat's coach profiles are the best. They suit me the best. Just because the defensive pressure and everything like that is uh, way up. And I really don't like to um, stop the, pause the game to change the coach profile. Just because people will call you a uh, try hard. So I just I just like to choose the playbook that will have it preset. Either way. And you see I got a brick wall. I like to get into the pick and roll action. But I don't really want to waste a signature skill on it. Just because pick and roll, it doesn't really work in this game, in my opinion. I mean, sometimes it does, but players are, they just clog the lane up so much in this game. And for some reason, like, if you call an ISO and you call a pick and roll, the ISO goes away and people will just crowd the paint. It just makes no sense. They need to work on that in the next 2K. But you see there, I got post playmaker. Honestly, I don't find a reason to have post playmaker because if I'm in the post and then my other big man... It's cutting under the basket. Then I can easily pass it to him, no problem. So I'm not going to use that. But you see, I got Joe Bryant. And I'm still working on that father-son lineup. I previously sold the Joe Bryant that I got before. So that's why I didn't have to sell that one. But as you know, Kobe's injured. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that when the season is over, the update goes away and I can sell Kevin Love. Because I really just don't like Kevin Love. He gets tired way too easy. He can't really shoot jump shots. His post game is bad. I just can't. I can't work with Kevin Love in this game unless, of course, I did up and unders all the, the whole time down the court. And I really don't want to do that. I don't. I don't want to abuse that in this game. But yeah, I hope that Kobe Bryant becomes free. I really, really want Derrick Rose on my team. I didn't really get to play with him at all in this game. I want to see how he plays, what he does, how his signature skills help him. And just how he would play on my team. If I got him in a gold pack, that'd be awesome. Um, I I would actually take Derrick Rose over Allen Iverson. Just because, you know, I'm not really a big fan of Allen Iverson. I don't want somebody on my team that I can just jack with the whole time. Because I will. And I don't really like doing that. Unless, of course, the other player is cheesing way more than I am. But, you know, I, I would like Allen Iverson just to say I have him. But, you know. It's all good if I don't get him. You see, I got Terry Cummings. Not Fab Mello, but it's close enough, you know. I think he's a pretty good rebounder. He got a good inside game. He'll definitely get some luck on my team. Got to sell another Alvin Gentry. How is it that their coach is silver, but their stadium is gold? I mean, he, Alvin Gentry is not that good of a coach. Why? I don't understand why he's silver. They need to fix some t things in my team. And what about the Bobcats playbook? How is that gold? The Bobcats haven't won a game in like, well, actually no, I take they've won a game technically, but metaphorically speaking, they're garbage. Anyways, you see, I got another U.S. Airway Center. Please do me a favor and count how many U.S. Airway Centers I have gotten in this pack, cause I, I don't know, but I'm sure it's over 20. And you see, I got Anthony Mason. Whenever I get Anthony Mason, I always get excited just because I keep. Get it. I really like Roger Mason. And I always get him confused. So I always get excited a little bit. But then I find out that he's just Anthony Mason. The reason I like Roger Mason is just because, you know, he's got a really good release. He can shoot three a little bit. Mainly because of his release. I like people with releases. And I got Tony Bennett. Let's go. I'm hot on the block. Let's go. Tony Bennett going to work. He is definitely starting on my team. He's starting over Chris Paul, Magic Johnson. Let's go. All I need now is Fab Mello, and I will be so happy. This series, if I get Fab Mello, this series will be a success. Let's go. And you see, I get the Warriors jersey. I actually got this one jersey that's just amazing. Like, it, it look, it's it's gold, but it looks like the Warriors uh gold jersey but it's not it's atlanta hawks and you see right there i got the palace gonna sell that all these attribute boosts i got a whole bunch of diamonds eraser 
Man, I'm, I'm just getting a whole bunch of, bunch of duplicates right now. I'm so psyched I got Tony Bennett, man. That's crazy. But anyways, where was I at? Where was I at? I don't know. I can't remember. Hey, Kevin Duckworth, you see there. He's got an R rebounding. Uh, actually, no, he does. He rebounded some butt. It's his inside game that's good. Yeah, that's right. You see right there. Rebounding a C plus. I don't understand. Like, if unless you can shoot outside, how are you gonna be a big man that can't rebound? It just makes no sense. Like, it. I don't. I don't get it. I just. I. I really don't get it. I just don't. You see right there. I got Matt Geiger. If I'm not mistaken, I think Matt Geiger is a dude that's like absolutely gigantic on the 76ers. Because whenever I play with the 76ers, there's this dude that's like, like he's huge. Like he, like he's not tall, but he's just like freaking big as crap. Like I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like he, he's almost bigger than, he's kind of built like Shaq, but like wider. Like, but he's not fat. He's like kind of muscular. I don't even know. Dude is just gigantic. You see that I got highlight film. I don't really ever like getting highlight film because I don't like doing flashy stuff because flashy stuff just means missed dunks, missed layups, and missed opportunities, and I'm not really a fan of that. We like to convert. Sometimes I get a little flashy with the self-oop on the fast break when I know I got somebody like LeBron or maybe James Worthy or somebody like that doing it. Uh, sometimes I try to show off and do it with somebody like Chris Paul, but if I get Fat Mello and Fat Mello does it, whew, he, might, he might tear down the rim. It's going to get nasty. Anyway, you see, I'm coming down to my last 30K pack opening. And I got Floor General with the Utah Jazz jersey pickpocket. I don't really like to use pickpocket because I, I'm not really good at it. Some people can just pluck somebody, you know, every possession uh, with maybe a bum point guard. But unfortunately, I can't do that. Every time I press the X button, the ref blows his whistle and I get a foul. So I just pretty much hang up pickpocket. And Michael Cooper, he's a great on-ball defender, but unfortunately, I already got him. So that's pretty much a waste of a pack. And I wish 2K had a... Now, this would this would be bad and good, but I wish they had a future where, like, maybe... Like, for this pack opening, right? People really only care, including me, people really only care about the first thing because the first thing shows whether or not you got a player. I wish there was like a button where you could just speed up the pack unraveling thingy, majiggy. And the same thing with selling things. I wish there was a button, but maybe that, that would probably be bad because what if you were on like Michael Jordan or somebody and then you accidentally press that button and then you sold Michael Jordan and people know how hard it is to get him back uh, through packs. But honestly, I think it's possible to get Michael Jordan because it, as Chris moved in his video, he got Magic Johnson, so he's going to have duplicates. He's going to sell Magic Johnson once he gets to the second seed, I believe. Yeah, second seed. So I definitely think it's possible to get Michael Jordan. It's probably the same probability of you getting Allen Iverson, though, so definitely rare. And you see here, I get a couple jerseys. Don't like any of them. I think I'm pretty much set on jerseys, so I don't really get too uh, happy about jerseys. I got... I, uh, I got this Hawks jersey, like I said before, it's a real nice gold with some red in it. And I also got the Raptors military jersey. The only thing about the Raptors military jersey, it's a, it's a nice jersey, but I'm having trouble pairing it with the stadium that goes with it. So that's the only problem about that. I would do the Toronto Raptors stadium, but the colors are just so off and one, I don't like the Raptors stadium. Anyways. See, I got shot creator. Shot creator is definitely something I like to put on all my shooters just be, so they can create their own shot. I like to have all my shooters have a good shot off dribble because I don't like to just, you know, move side to side on three point line and jack a spot up three. That, that's not my style. I like to give you a crossover at the top of the key and then hit a mid range fader, something like that. See, there I got the stable center again. The Minneapolis. Mini, yes, yeah, the Minneapolis. Is it the, I think it's the Minneapolis Lakers. I'm not sure if I pronounced the Minneapolis right. Pretty sure that's it. But yeah, you see, I got that jersey, the light blue, powder blue. And my favorite jersey of all time, including, and you see right there, I got Kenneth Faree right there. I'm definitely going to keep him. I feel like, the reason I like Kenneth Faree in this game, because I feel like he's one of the few players that actually plays like he does in real life. He'll fly around the court getting put backs rebounds and i definitely gonna put hustle points on them just so we can get those rebounds put it right back up you see i got two back two back to back 
uh, good players. Actually, no, I take that back. Kurt Thomas is garbage. Anyways, like I said, um, where was I at? Damn, I was gonna say something. Anyways, what was it? it was it was gonna be? Damn, what was. Anyways, whatever. You see, I got Maurice cheeks. Maurice cheeks. Turn the other cheek. Maurice cheeks. Anyway, right there, you see that A plus on ball defense. Maybe with a guy like that, I actually might be able to pluck a few people. I'll have to try that out. Definitely putting pickpocket on him. He's going to have interceptor and active hands. Ooh, it's going to be nasty. I'm not going to put lockdown and on him just because, you know, I don't see any point when you can only have three skills on somebody. It's not like, you know, online quick game where somebody could have be loaded with five skills. I just think it's a waste. And even with lockdown and finner, they can still make fading threes in your face in my team because everybody knows in my team the sliders are at 100. And you see Scott Pollard, not Fab Mello, but close enough. And you see right there, I got active hands. I think I'm going to end up selling that because I got a lot. Uh, yep, I am. And then the shot low post. You know, I, I'm just not really a big fan of attribute boost. Yeah, I could probably use them in a game. I'm just, I, I don't like them, you know. I, I'm just not a fan. I don't find any point putting them on. And you see, I got Kevin McHale. I would actually really like to get Kevin McHale in a pack as the player because he has a good post game. And I really like having a good post post player, like good post hook and good post fadeaway. That's why I'm really looking forward to get Fab Mello. His post hook is at 99. His post fadeaway at 99. You see there, I got Spud Webb. But it don't matter that I got Spud Webb because Spud Webb can't dunk. Yeah, it's a shame. Spud Webb cannot dunk in this game. And do not put Posterizer on. Maybe it works for y'all, but putting Posterizer on Spud Webb did not work for me at all. I actually got Spud Webb before, and I ended up selling him. Because he, he just can't dunk. Whenever he goes to the basket, he ends up doing a late, leaning layup. And I know he's 5'6", and yeah, it'd be unrealistic if he went jumping over people and dunking. I mean, come on, man. It, you get, you got to cut me some slack. I mean... His dunk, his vertical, pretty sure is around 99, if not 99. You see, I got Sydney Green. Got to sell that right there. And, yeah, so I, I just had to sp sell Spud Webb because every time he went to the basket, it was a leaning layup. This, it was just terrible. And you see the Palace again. Man, these these stadiums, they just, they, I can't, they, they're just so annoying. And you see with the last pack, I don't get Fab Mello. But it's alright. We're going to keep trying. Anyways, I'm out. If you, if you see me in a match, don't forget to throw your Xbox away. We out. Peace. That's it. Tune in for the next video.